I'm taking a much needed time off. I, uh, I wish the circumstances were better though. And grandpa's in the hospital. By the time you all see this, is going to be way, way done. So, uh, I'm making this video, I, I think, six months in advance, or three months in advance, I don't know yet, but it, it will be over by the time you guys see this. Um, I'm just, I, I need a day to clear my head. Because there's no way I'm going out on the floor doing dangerous shit. Being emotional, so... I can't think of anything to say. Like, I, I have no good... I'm just... I'm just thinking. Like, that's... Fuck. I, my face... This is a thing, too. My face always stays the same. So no one really knows the fuck's going on in my head. I'm just rambling. You guys should not be... I'm just... I'm gonna post this video... This is the last one I'm going to talk about my grandpa. I don't, I'm, uh, this is the last one I'm going to talk about my grandpa and my emotions about that. I'm just trying to make my videos every single day. I'm trying to focus. I'm trying to stay on point. But life gets in the way sometimes, and that's it's just a bitch. It really, really, really is a bitch. God damn. Guys, what's up? Change of energy. Um, I know... I just want to point something out. I am sad that my grandpa is in the hospital right now, but I'm right now I came here to work. I did take the day off. Like, don't ever try to work when you're not, you know, you're un emotionally unstable. But I, at, at the end of the day, I'm still here to work, and I realize that. So I'm still going to take the day off, but I, I might as well make a video. So my energy is going to change in this video. I don't think it's not still on my mind because it really is on my mind. But I'm I'm trying to get the grind. And being sad doesn't help anybody. I gotta keep moving forward. So please like the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm this you're about to see like a lot of reviews for food. Some good, some bad. Um, I, I don't I don't want to give a, a bad one in this town because it's such a small town. But honestly, I didn't like the potato too much, which is the name of a restaurant. But it's not for. It feels like a. It's for drunk people, to be honest. But um, I, again, I don't want. I really don't want to be mean. But I just really didn't like it. But again, you're going to see in the video, so I'll stop, I'll shut up and I'll let you watch it. Okay, I got the day off. Finally had time to shave. It's time to go get some food. I really don't want to eat at this place because I really, really, really want a reindeer dog. Every time I go out to eat, all I want is a reindeer dog. But I feel like um, since I'm at Valdez, I need to try it. So here we go. Well, that sucks. They're close. I was actually <laughs> ready to eat that. Yo, I'm at the potato again. I felt like last time I didn't really give it a fair shot since I got like a burger. But, and I don't usually drink beer. But I got this Wildcat Blackberry. It's really, really good. I fucking love it. It's nice. It's a cider though. So, I don't know if you guys like ciders. Yeah, this looks so goddamn good. Try to get a good shot so I'm using the phone, but let's try it. Okay, review time. And if you're wondering why I'm making a review on a seafood processing channel, it's because pretty soon I'm going to be in Colombia if everything goes correctly. And I'm going to be reviewing food there too. And I'm going to be making a new channel. So when that comes out, look out. Because um, <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to be a lot bigger than this one. 
All right, so the potato. First off, the food. I'm going. How are you guys doing? I feel like the potato isn't a um, super fancy place to go to. It's more like a bar food type of place. So like you know, drunk people when you get drunk, that's the place you go to eat. I had the burger and I had their cheesesteak sandwich. I like this. Uh, I love the hamburger more. I'm sorry. This is going to be a kind of a bad review for those guys, but when I had the cheesesteak today, it looked really, really good. However, it seemed to be lack, in my opinion, it seemed to be lacking in salt because the meat didn't have that much flavor to it. And also, if you look at the pictures, I sh the video I showed before, there was like a lot of cheese on top. That cheese didn't have any purpose in terms of... I'm going to sit down for a second. That cheese didn't have any purpose as to flavor. When I bit into it, it was kind of like Velveeta, but not like the flavor, but more like the texture. It pulled, but there was no saltiness. There was no kick of cheese flavor to that cheese on top. So it was just kind of there for presentation more than actual taste value which I hate that. If you give me cheese and it has no flavor, that is the worst thing to put in your mouth because you're not getting flavor and it's just that fattiness to you and you, it just makes you feel terrible um, in your mouth and in your stomach. So there's no reason to have that cheese for it. The meat itself was really, really good. They just didn't put any salt on it or any flavoring. So it was kind of bland. It was still good, but it could have been like a lot better. The highlights of it though was the onions and the peppers. Without that, it would have been completely flat. The french fries, if you take a bite of the french fries, you are, or even without taking a bite, if you just look at them, you can tell that's house, those are house made french fries, not store bought, because, just because of how they're made. Just looking at them, you can tell they're like, I don't know what to call that, that machine twister. You can tell it's a machine twisting potato they did in the house so that's really really good on their part it tastes amazing it doesn't taste like um you know mcdonald fries it's real so it's better for you and it's better tasting i'm gonna keep walking again let's go on to the hamburger i i did like the hamburger but if i'm being completely honest the fat mermaid at the at a restaurant how you doing is a lot better the reason I say that is because even though the burger itself is really, really flat, fatty, it didn't have any sauce to it. It was kind of, it wasn't dry, but it wasn't um, flavorful, in my opinion. Like I, again, I don't want to be mean when I make these reviews, I'm, but I also want to be completely honest. The burger itself was fine, but I felt like it was, um, I felt like it was something you make at home. They put more emphasis on the meat itself which i i like that personally than the bun which it's kind of a hard thing to explain if you ever have, if you like hamburgers and you go around tasting it the bun is equally as important as the meat and the two just did not have synergy in my opinion I this this was a while ago, so I'm trying to go off memory. But biting into it, there was like a lot of flat fat, a lot of flavor in the meat. But I felt like the bun kind of took it away. There was no burger sauce, which I feel like is a must for hamburgers. But it's still a hamburger and it's still really fucking amazing. So if you I'm not gonna give this a like a low score. Because it's not this restaurant is more like if you're drunk, come get eat food here come hang out come have a beer it's a dive bar pretty much and it had dive, dive bar food so i'm not going to give it a bad score i, I had to rate it just off off the cheesesteak and off the hamburger i would rate it a seven i guys uh, this is my first review ever <laughs> i mean not ever but this is my first like professional review so let me know in the comments how i did i want to know your opinion if you ate at the potato before and you think i'm completely wrong feel free, like please comment in this uh, comment section because i want to know why you guys think it's like really really good also i don't want to like i don't want to down a restaurant for no reason so please put like good dance, reviews dance, in dance, the comment dance, section dance, 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 stop. and i'll see you guys next time because there's a bullet about to crash <laughs> 
I want to end this on a bad review. So I want to explain to you guys why I love the reindeer burger, the reindeer hot dog so fucking much. Um, let me go over there first. Okay, so since I'm in this uh, reviewing mindset right now, let me explain why to you I love the fucking reindeer. I keep cussing. I need to stop cussing for YouTube, but I'm not going to because I want to keep my channel real as fuck. Let me explain to you why I love the reindeer burger so much. A hot dog so much. I keep saying burger because burgers on my fucking mind. So the reindeer hot dog comes with the hot dog itself. It's not a normal sausage. What they do is they cut it up into like one half inch size, you know, little rings. And then they line it up inside the hot dog bun. It also comes with a side of fries. And I really love these fries because it's a 1970 baby fries that used to come in the food trucks. If you guys eat at food trucks, you know damn well the quality of food drop trucks have gone way fucking down over the years. Now it's just hype. I don't know what the fuck happened, but in my experience, every time I go to a food truck, I'm expecting it to be fucking amazing because it used to be. It used to be if you had a food truck, you had the best fucking food. Now it's if you have a food truck, you're just being fucking trendy. Um, so when you take a bite of those 1970 fucking fries, it tastes fucking amazing. And it just brings you back that nostalgia of being a 90s baby. And it's just so goddamn amazing. Like, they're definitely store-bought. But they're the good quality ones. Now, for the actual reindeer hot dog itself, even though they're cut up into, like, little um, strips or whatever, it still works out because what they do is they put, like, a lot of caramelized onions on top so first off you can't even tell and when you take a bite into it you can taste that gaminess but it's accompanied by so many spices the gaminess is an enchantment on top of the flavor itself and the caramelized onions bring a nice sweetness to it so even though you're tasting that gaminess you don't care because the sweetness and the spices perfectly align so when it goes down your mouth, it's just so fucking incredible. And the aroma hits your nose, too. And a lot of people overlook the effect that the effect smell has on you. So when you're eating the food and you can smell it as you eat it, that is an amazing fucking sensation that people just don't even realize is going on because we're so used to only focusing on one of our senses, not all of them together. So if you can actually get that, if you come here and you get the reindeer hot dog, I promise you it's going to be like one of the best hot dogs you ever had in your damn life. It is that good. Every time I come out, I want that hot dog. I didn't even realize they had it. And now all I want is to eat it all the damn time. Guys, like for real, tell me what you think about my reviews on the food. Because I'm I, when I start traveling, I really want to do the food things. and I really want to get good at my reviews. So please leave a comment down below. I really want to know what you guys think. Oh, uh, that's why I love the reindeer hot dog so much. I really want to go back and I really want to try it in that place before I leave here. I'm definitely going to try the Mexican restaurant, the Mexican fusion place, and review that too. But as for now, thanks for watching my channel, guys. Fucking love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Please comment. Please leave a review. I want to know what you guys think so much. I'll see you next time.